on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Crucible promo. It's live right now. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about it, including how to earn all of the free content from it. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. We're going to start with the Welcome Pack because that's going to feature a free 98 overall Levante David. So when you open up the pack, you're going to get a lower overall card that requires tokens to upgrade to a 98 overall that animation was absolutely fire by the way so the five upgrade tokens that you're going to need one of those five is going to be in the welcome pack as well so he starts out at a 92 overall but you can get him to a 94 overall right away with the first upgrade token the other four tokens are going to be in the combination of solo challenges and the field pass we'll show you all the places that you need to go to get him once you get the remaining four tokens and upgrade him to the 98 overall he's going to get two discounted ability buckets and you have a lot of options here for zero AP, some of the more popular ones that I would recommend because he's a middle linebacker and more than likely going to be a user for you uh, would absolutely be Tackle Supreme. Now, because he's a linebacker, you're going to have to go with Lurk Artist. If you're on old gen, you're definitely going to want to go with Lurker. The one big disappointment that this card is missing, though, is mid zone KO. He does get a deep end zone KO, which isn't a bad option, but I think mid zone KO is definitely better suited for middle linebacker. So, not a bad free card, but I said it in the reveal video earlier this morning. We've just had this overload of free mid middle linebackers and outside linebackers that are good as users and you can just add this one to the list and the fact that he doesn't get a discounted mid zone KO makes him an L for me. We got two sections of solo challenges, the Crucible Forge and the Obsidian challenges. I do want to point out that this is a one part promo so everything that's available right now can be unlocked. We don't have to wait until next week to do anything. If you take a look at the Crucible Forge Milestone Rewards, there are different sequences. You can't play the second one till you beat the first one. Can't play the third one till you beat the second one, etc. And if you look at the Milestone Rewards, there's going to be Field Pass XP in here. And then there's a bunch of these 94 overall BND Obsidian Player Fantasy Packs. So these 94 Obsidian players can actually upgrade to a 97 overall via objectives. And there's five of them in total. Later today, we're going to be dropping a video on the best ones to upgrade first, but I think you can earn at least three of these players for free. There might even be four. If we scroll through the rest of the rewards, you got your first Levante David upgrade token. There's a 95 overall BND pack. There's a 95 plus BND player pack, a 97 plus BND player pack, and then at tier seven, when you fully max it out, another 95 plus. So if you're a no money spent player, you might want to try to max out all of these rewards. To me, it's probably not going to be worth it. The only thing I'm going to be be going after at least on my no money spent account is at minimum the levante david upgrade token though i don't even know if i'm going to need that card if you get something good out of that 97 plus pack of course that's going to be awesome for you but i have a feeling that the plus is going to be silent uh within a lot of those packs for a lot of people we also have the obsidian challenges and if you take a look at these rewards you're going to get additional xp for the field pass Here's the second 94 overall Obsidian Player Fantasy Pack. You get a third one at Tier 3 within these Milestone Rewards. You got another Levante David Upgrade Token, a fourth 94 overall B&D Obsidian Player Pack. So we now have four out of the five possible, and there is one more that's going to be in the Field Pass. So it looks like you can get all five of those players that are upgraded to a 97 overall. Uh, and then you just got more free packs here. The 97 pack at the end is not a plus, unfortunately. It's just strictly a 97. Uh, but the there's a lot of BND content in here. I would have traded all of these BND packs for like two non BND 97 plus packs. I think that would have been much better. They went way too BND crazy on this promo. There is a ton of free content, but I don't like that it's restricted by not being able to sell it for coins or use it to build out sets for 99 overalls, especially because we're in the month of June, basically. Let's take a look at the field pass. All of the rewards are going to be at the bottom of the screen. Of course, you can always scroll through them with your D-pad. Tons of season six XP in here, which is a good thing because we have a little bit less than two weeks left for the season six field pass. See even season Season 7 is going to be right around the corner, so this is a good opportunity to max that field pass out or get very close to the end here before it expires. Two more of the Levante David tokens are going to be in there, so two in solos, two in the field pass, one in the welcome pack for a total of five. And you may notice also at level three, this is now the fifth 94 overall fantasy pack, Obsidian player fantasy pack. So there's five players, you can get all five of them, three in solos, excuse me, four in solos, one in the field pass. Now, when you unlock those players, and by the way, 
The final reward at level 10 is a 97 plus BND Crucible player. I said in the video earlier this morning, I'll say it again. The final rewards of the field passes for like the last two months have been very, very underwhelming and annoyingly bad. This would have been much better if it was either a free 99 or a 97 plus pack that was non BND so you could at least get a piece to the five cards that you need to build out a 99 without having to spend any coin or money. So EA keeps missing on these. If you look through the rest of the field pass, you got a ton of objectives to the right here. And because it's a one part promo, you should be able to max out this field pass as early as today if you want. Um, but if you also take a look, there's an Obsidian Players tab. So those 94 overall packs that you earn, one in the field pass, four in solos. Once you open those up, you're going to get one of these five players. You can basically get all five of them and you want to put them in your lineup. Once you put them in your lineup, you have different objectives based on the player and the position that you need to complete. And once you complete those objectives, you're going to get a token. That token allows you to take that player from a 94 to a 97 overall for free. They do get a bunch of discounted abilities, so I would say that's the good part about it. But attribute wise, they're not the greatest cards. I'm going to put out a video later this afternoon going over all five of the cards and the best ones to unlock first and all of the best abilities to use on each of those cards. But basically, you're going to get five free 97 overalls from this field pass and the solo challenges. Going over to the item sets, there is a 94 overall Obsidian Fantasy Pack set. Please do not redeem this one by any means because all five of the players that are available, you can earn for free. I mean, it is a shortcut, right? If you don't want to play through solos or grind the field pass, but I don't think any of those cards are worth going above and beyond getting them aside from the free options that you have. There are some lower overall exchange sets, and if you're after any of the champion cards, uh, the set requirement you're going to need five cards in total, three 97 overall Crucible players. And this is why I said it would have been nice for all of those free 97s and 97 plus packs to be non B and D. So at least you could get a part to the puzzle to complete the set. You need three of those cards and then any other 96 or 97s, two of those from any other promo. You can see I got a couple already in the binder here. You put all five of those cards into the set in return. You're going to get the player of your choice. And we have what we say, six 99 overall champions. Now there's two more 99 overall overall LTDs, but a very interesting thing about these cards, when they were first revealed on GMM this morning, we basically thought that they were only going to get two discounted ability buckets, and they actually get three, and I think a lot of these cards are really, really good, so I'm going to show you AJ Terrell for an example. I think he's one of the best cornerbacks in the game. He has pick artist baked on for zero AP. These cards get the charged up X factor, so in this case, you can throw universal coverage on this card. It's going to start on for six plays. It goes away for a couple plays it comes back it rotates throughout the entire game you have this ability or this x factor i should say on for the majority of the game and when it comes to a defensive back i mean universal coverage it doesn't really get any better than that and it doesn't take any AP. And that's going to be true on all of these cards. So he gets that. And then if you go to the discounted buckets here and just kind of work backwards, you can see that they basically have three zero AP buckets. So if I wanted to go with AJ Terrell, we're probably going to go secure tackler because I run a lot of man coverage. I might go with a short route KO. And then in the last bucket, deep route KO plus the pick artist, we're getting four abilities on this card, plus they charged up X Factor for a total of zero AP. For those that said this promo was an L, I just truly don't get it. These cards are really, really good when you factor in the fact that they get all of these good discounted abilities, and at this point in the year, abilities are way more important than attributes. There's a few cards that are underwhelming from an attribute standpoint. I think Greg Jennings is definitely the main one when I say that because he only has 97 speed. But if you take a look here, he's going to get Jukebox baked on. I would recommend yak him up on this if you're going to use an X-Factor slot on him. And then you got three more abilities. Honestly, because Evasive is an option, I'd probably go Evasive over Jukebox. But then you can go like Route Technician if you need an Apprentice ability. You have those options. Slotomatic, Grab and Go, Human Joystick. All of these cards are really, really good from an ability standpoint. And it doesn't stop there. And I'm curious to see what the pricing is going to be. If you take a look at the two LT which Whitley Mer Whitney Mertzelis uh, being basically under a million coins or right around a million coins uh, he's a little bit more than I thought I'm going to be buying this card for sure because if you take a look at him 
he gets unstoppable force baked on as an ability instead of an, instead of an x factor if you want to go with the x factor option you certainly can i don't really think it's worth it you might want to try like a reinforcement or a charge up dual threat that's mostly if you're going to drop him in coverage reinforcement's going to give you more sheds against the run game or you could just not use an x factor slot at all and if you take a look here they actually get four discounted buckets so if we work backwards here this is the third one and now here's the fourth one so you're looking at like if you want to on this card you could go deflator you could go tackle supreme he already has unstoppable force and then you can go like under pressure if you want i'm pretty sure yeah he gets double or nothing for zero ap no outsiders for zero ap is good for a, good for an edge defender i think this card is better than the ltd ultimate legend julius peppers who last I look was over 2 million coins, and now we have this card that's going to be much cheaper, and to me is much better because of the abilities, and they have that same baked on X Factor treated as an ability and unstoppable force. And the same thing is going to hold true for Jamal Charles. He's going to get four discounted ability buckets. He gets angry runs. That will cost you the one AP. But then you also have first one free treated as an ability. You got your X Factor slots here. Angry runs is an option. And then you're getting four discounted buckets. He could basically go like evasive, tank, bruiser, human joysticks an option, backyard halfback, short in elite is usually kind of good on a running back, especially in the passing game. This to me, even though he really does lack a lot of trucking 98 spin move 99 juke move this to me because of the abilities and the attributes combined and the fact that he gets anger runs jamal Char jamal charles i think is the best running back in the game so i'm probably going to pick up both the ltds today i definitely want aj terrell and i think vince wolfork is almost a must-have for me as well we close the video out with pack offers you got the crucible opportunity pack 25 dollars gives you four 95 plus cards and then either a 95 plus or a 99 I'm not in love with this one. I mean, if you want to go after any of the 99s, you're probably going to open this up anyway, but this pack really doesn't blow me away. I would have preferred like two 97 plus cards and then either a 95 plus or a 99. I would just like to see more 97s in this pack, more cards that will guarantee you pieces to building out the 99s. There is a, it looks like about a $20 pack here that gives you a 97 overall Obsidian Fantasy Player Pack, a 95 overall, and then another 97. So basically for $20, $20, you're getting two fifths of what you need to build out a 99 and no 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 i take that back because you're getting 94s and tokens to build 97 so do not do not do not i repeat do not spend your money on this pack it is 100% not worth it. You have a $100 bundle. I'll show you what's in it, but I ain't spending $100 as much as I like this promo. I'm not encouraging anybody to spend $100 on a bundle this late in the year. So if you want to try the opportunity pack, go for it. But I don't think it's um, the most amazing value or a must have of anything. You also have a 50 point pack for the daily deal that gives you a 92 overall. I mean, what's the point of even opening this? Yes, it's dirt cheap, but what do you really need those 92s for? I wouldn't think much of anything. Uh, you do have a coin pack for 75k and a reroll pack for 120,000 training. That is the promo in a nutshell. So there's a lot to do right now offline between all of the solo challenges and working towards the field pass. None of the rewards really blow me away, but you do get the five free 97 overall upgraded players. You get the Levante David getting those tokens through solo challenges and knocking out the field pass. And then there's a bunch of other packs that are all kind of included in there. So a lot of free content but it's like i'd rather have one big good free reward in a 99 overall versus a bunch of like eh, what do we really need these cards for that's kind of my point of view but go knock out your solos go work on that field pass everything is available to unlock right now if you want to get it done today or throughout this weekend thank you guys for watching the video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace